the Native Women's Advisory Committee uh, came from the um, from the National Women's Forum that was held in, in uh, June of, of 2011, and information is in tab four of your kits. Uh, there was a recommendation that there, that there be uh, a community-driven process to address violence against women and murdered missing women at that forum. So following the, the forum, Minister Polak um, approached individuals to sit as an advisory uh, committee to provide advice to the minister. Um, so that we can try and work more effectively to address violence against women and uh, murdered missing women. Um, on, a, on, a, on a personal level, um, when I think about the, the things that are happening throughout the region um, in, in BC uh, on murdered and missing women, there are many um, we hear through the media, um, more specifically, um, and, and, and the reason I mention it is because there is a need for us as leaders to, to begin addressing the issue of violence against women. Um, more recently, you probably heard about uh, Lejibakov in Prince George where uh, there were four um, uh, counts of murder, uh, additional counts of murder that he was charged with, a non-Aboriginal male in Prince George. Three out of those four women were Aboriginal women in the Prince George area. Uh, if you remember Taisha on the island, um, the many on the Highway of Tears, um, the downtown east side. Um, so there is a lot happening uh, throughout the region. And um, at this point, um, I'm grateful for the support um, and the work that uh, Grand Chief Stuart Phillip does on behalf of um, the leaders uh, in being present um, at gatherings throughout the the region and especially in the downtown east side. Um, so there is a lot of work to be done 